Hello viewers, in this video we will see few profitability ratios. Ok, this is the chart of ratios and solvency ratios we saw in our previous video and under profitability ratios we saw gross profit ratio, net profit ratio, operating profit ratio and operating ratio in our previous video. In this video we will see few among this ratios ok and in our upcoming video we will see turnover ratios ok these are the formulas under profitability ratio see these are the formulas ok and the first one specific expenses ratio specific expenses ratio a particular expenses and its relationship between the net sales ok here the specific expenses means it may be a factory expenses, office expenses, selling and distribution expenses or it can be a financial expenses too. Okay, whatever expenses ratio is asked in the problem, that expenses we have to use in this formula. Okay, so specific expenses divided by net sales into 100. Here the net sales is nothing but your sales minus sales returns. Okay, and next ratio is profitability ratio under this we have earning per share net earnings divided by number of equity shares okay this net earnings is nothing but profit after interest tax and preference dividends okay one profit after interest and tax we have to take and we also will pay the preference dividend okay and the profit available for the equity shareholders will take it here that is the net earnings here and number of equity shares is nothing but the equity share capital divided by the face value per equity shares will get the number of equity shares using this formula you can find it next is payout ratio dividend on equity shares divided by net earnings into 100 okay the net earnings you know profit after interest tax and preference dividend and dividend on equity share is nothing but equity capital into rate of equity dividend okay return on shareholders fund net profit after interest and tax divided by shareholders funds Okay, this is your net earnings, shareholders funds you know that is your equity share capital, preference share capital, reserves and surplus, profit and loss. Okay, you can take both equity share capital and preference share capital for this. And next formula is return on total assets, net profit after interest and tax divided by total tangible assets. Okay, here the total tangible assets means the total assets minus your intangible assets. I hope you all know what all intangible assets. Uh, for example, goodwill, patent, copyright, trademark. This all will come under this intangible assets. And minus preliminary expenses and minus discount on issue of shares and debentures. Okay. And if there is any profit and loss in the asset side, that also we have to subtract it here. Okay. And the balance is total tangible assets and next one is interest coverage ratio and the formula is net profit before interest and tax divided by fixed interest charges ok fixed interest charges means the interest payable on debentures public deposit bond and the interest pay to long term debt or borrowings ok this is the total of your interest payment that is the fixed interest charges ok let us see one problem find out earning per share from the following ok net profit after tax was given 10 percent preference share capital 4 lakh equity share capital 10 lakh and the face value of this equity share capital is 100 rupees ok now we can find what is the EPS EPS is nothing but earning per share ok we will see Okay, let's start doing the problem now. The formula to find the earning per share is net earnings divided by number of equity shares. Okay, here we have net profit after tax. Okay, we have to find the net earnings in order to calculate this earning per share. Okay, net earnings is nothing but net profit after interest tax and preference dividend okay here we have net profit after tax that is 2 lakh so we have to subtract the preference dividend too okay so we will find what is the preference dividend 
Yes, preference share capital is 4 lakh and the rate of dividend is 10 percent. So, 4 lakh into 10 percent will get 40,000. So, if we subtract it from this net profit after tax, we will get net earnings. That is net profit after interest, tax and preference dividend is 1,60,000. Okay. And number of equity shares we have to find. See for, for that the equity share capital is 10 lakh and the face value of the share is 100. So, 10 lakh divided by 100 will get 10,000 is the number of equity shares. Okay. So, if we substitute in the formula, we will get 16 rupees. Okay. This is the earning per share. Okay. Yes. We will see one more problem. Net profit before interest and tax rupees 50,000. 10% debentures payable in 10 years in equal installment rupees 1 lakh. Tax rate 50%. Calculate the debt service coverage ratio. Okay. In this we have to find out the debt service coverage ratio. This is nothing but your interest coverage ratio. Okay. And the formula to calculate this interest coverage ratio is net profit before interest and tax divided by fixed interest charges. Okay. Here net profit before interest and tax was given that is 50,000 and fixed interest charges we have debentures only. So, in that we have to find the interest. This is 10% debentures. So, 1 lakh into 10% we have to find that is 10,000 will get. Okay. So, we know what is the net profit before interest and tax that is 50,000 and we know the fixed interest charges that is 10,000. So, if we substitute in the formula, we will get 5 times. Okay. This is the interest coverage ratio. Okay. I hope now you can be able to find this interest coverage ratio, right? Okay. We will see one more problem. Yes. Ascertain the return on shareholders fund from the following data. Equity share capital 12 lakh, preference share capital 3 lakh, reserves 5 lakh, profit after tax 10 lakh. Okay. Now we will see what is the formula to find this return on shareholders fund. Yes. Net profit after interest and tax divided by shareholders fund. Okay. Here we have profit after tax. That is the net profit after interest and tax. Okay. So we can take this 10 lakh and shareholders fund. Formula to find the shareholders fund is we have to take the equity share capital, we have to take preference share capital and the reserves. Okay, that is shareholders fund. Yes, it comes to 20 lakh. Okay, now we got this net profit after interest and tax and we know shareholders fund if we substitute will get 50%. Okay. This is the return on shareholders fund. Okay. See one problem. From the following information calculate administrative expenses ratio, selling and distribution expenses ratio. Administration expenses was given, selling and distribution expenses given and sales also given. Okay. Using this we have to find out the administrative expenses ratio, selling and distribution expenses ratio. We will see how to do this problem. The formula to calculate administrative expenses ratio is administrative expenses divided by net sales into 100. Here we have administrative expenses 20,000 and sales is 5,60,000. So, if we substitute in the formula, we will get 3.57 percentage. Okay. And the next ratio is selling and distribution expenses. And for that also the formula is selling and distribution expenses divided by the sales. Yes. We have to substitute in the formula. We have selling and distribution expenses 89,000 and sales 560,000. So, if we divide, we will get 15.89 percentage. Okay. In this video, we learned how to calculate the expenses ratio, earning per share, return on shareholders fund and interest coverage ratio. That is the debt coverage ratio. Okay. These ratios, that is four ratios we have studied in this video and I have given you a small problem under each model, okay. This is for EPS, that is earning per share model and uh, this is interest coverage, interest coverage ratio for problem.
and this one is in this problem you have to calculate return on shareholders fund and in this problem you have to calculate the expenses ratio that is administrative expenses and selling and distribution expenses ratio you have to calculate i hope you all know how to solve this four problems only simple simple problems okay you can easily solve this problems thank you for your patient listening